Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Joy and I'm a fitness coach for ladies struggling with weight loss to get to the ideal weight so that they can fit into that pair of jeans again. By God's grace, I've helped transform many of my clients' bodies by losing body fat, get toned and get leaner through a high carb, low fat plant-based diet and smart training. Today, let's talk about the fat you eat is the fat you wear. It is true that weight loss is directly related to energy balance, aka calories in versus calories out. So the first thing when people hear about this is they go on a diet, they start counting calories. I used to be one of them before I came to this lifestyle more than 10 years ago. And even when I stepped into the, working into the gym and became a trainer myself, I got influenced by the fitness industry to eat lesser, train more especially during my bikini competition prep in 2018. Guess what? It worked! For a short phase, it did work. Even though I was hungry and frustrated most of the time during this diet phase. I was really hungry, frustrated, angry, but I lost weight. But it wasn't enjoyable so I went like to hell with it. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want after the competition. Needless to say, I gained weight and then some more. Counting calories in Dr. McDougall's words is like putting a mouse on a treadmill, making it feel like it is putting effort to make some progress, but they are still stuck at the same spot. They are not moving from point A to point B. And to successfully make the mouse move from point A to point B is to have it walk on ground. When we count calories or start a new diet, it is like the mouse walking on a treadmill. We become inspired and hopeful to see progress. So in short term, we see results, but eventually our hunger takes a toll. 100% we will revert back to our old ways of eating, gain the weight back, and then most of the time, we gain some more. It is like the mouse walking on a treadmill stuck at the same spot, just that it's a little bit worse because we are left with more weight to lose. The reason why diets don't work is that they never satisfy our hunger, nor do they address our need for carbohydrates. On top of that, they never address the issue. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. What is a fat? A fat is a macronutrient just like carbs and protein, and it is very calorie dense. A gram of carb and a gram of protein each has four calories. What about fat? One gram of fat has nine calories. That's more than twice. Compare a tablespoon of olive oil and a cup of pumpkin. The olive oil has more calories than that cup of pumpkin. And which one fills you up more? I will take my bet on the cup of pumpkin because I will definitely need more than that tablespoon of olive oil to keep me as satiated as that cup of pum pumpkin would. Also, when we eat calories in excess, it is so much easier for our bodies to turn the fat calories into stored fat. Let's do a comparison between fat and carbs. It takes 30% of these excess calories to turn the carbohydrates into stored fat when we eat calories in excess. Guess how many percent of the calories it takes to turn the fat into stored fat? Only 3%. It is so much easier, that is why our bodies prefer to turn the fat calories into stored fat rather than carbohydrates. By the way, to gain one pound of weight, you just have to eat 3,500 calories in excess. And since fat is so easily stored as stored fat, it only takes two ninefolds of peanut butter spread onto your sandwich every day for a month to gain that one pound of stored fat. Just two knifefuls every single day for a month. Of course, fat is also essential to our bodies. But there's a, another separate video to do on another day. But just know this, the food that you eat on a high carb, low fat plant based diet is enough for you to function great. People, this works. I have a free PDF down below for you to download to help you in your weight loss journey. Click on the link below to download. I'll I'll be really happy to be part of your fitness and weight loss journey.